Hello, my name is Kirk Kressick and I serve Regent University as Dean of the School of Education. Joining me today is Dr. Finn, a professor with us in the School of Education, and he heads up our curriculum and instruction programs. And Dr. Finn, thank you so much for joining us. You're going to give us a little bit of uh, information about all those programs. Yes. So I'll start with, um, well, tell me about CNI. It's such a broad, um, uh, uh, not just a broad venue or arena, but can you Give me a little bit more information on that. Absolutely. So curriculum and instruction, uh, it is a kind of a general type of term, and, and it can be interpreted in many different mm -hmm. ways. But ultimately, curriculum instruction focuses on development of programs and learning opportunities for uh, various audiences that um, ultimately reach learning goals and objectives effectively. And so the curriculum instruction degree focuses not only on developing programs and developing individual curriculum, but also focusing on effective instructional techniques that uh, will help to, uh, again, reach those goals and objectives of those learning programs, um, along, with, along with looking at uh, ways to evaluate the value of those programs and the effectiveness of those programs in uh, meeting different objectives and goals. All right, well said. Um, as far as degree level options, mm -hmm. masters, uh, post-masters, can you talk a little bit about that? Sure, so so our master's degree, uh, we, we offer a master of education, mm -hmm. uh, and we actually have different concentrations for our master's program. So uh, we have a general curriculum instruction mm -hmm. program, which is called Teacher Leader. That particular, uh, in sh that, that particular program focuses on the K-12 learning environment and um, equipping teachers to take on leadership roles. Now, it's not administrative. There's no administrative certificate, but to actually be a team leader or a curriculum leader sure. within their building, perhaps within the central office uh, area. We also offer uh, a Christian school uh, option as well, uh, very similar, but it has a focus on the Christian learning environment. Uh, we have an adult education focus, mm -hmm. and that curriculum instruction degree uh, looks at the adult learner mm -hmm. and the unique requirements that adults have and characteristics of adults, uh, as well as, as developing uh, a sound curriculum and lessons for them. Um, we also have a gifted and talented program, and, and currently that is Virginia uh, endorsed program. But we have two tracks. You can go non-endorsement if you are from outside of Virginia, mm -hmm. uh, and the endorsement program, of course, you can you can apply to the Department of Education for that. The gifted and talented focuses on the key elements of working with students who are gifted. They're identified as gifted and talented, and uh, developing specific programs for them to meet their needs. And so. We look at the psychology of the learner, we look at the learning environment, uh, and we look at their needs and so on. Okay. So at the master's level, we do have those different options sure. that, are, that are stated and uh, that, are, that are focused on those different areas. Now, in the uh, post-master's world, we have the education specialist and we have the EDD and PhD. So the post-master's degrees are advanced study of curriculum and instruction, and it tends to be a little bit more general. Uh, we don't have different concentrations necessarily, but there are options and opportunities within each of the programs uh, to focus your coursework and even an elective or two on a given area if you choose. And so what's in, what the intention of the EDS and the, the doctoral programs uh, is to provide a much higher level of study uh, that focuses more on uh, overall programs, maybe larger programs, as well as uh, opportunities for evaluating those programs. Uh, not only for their content, but also to evaluate the instruction uh, that is occurring in those areas as well. Excellent, excellent. And it sounds like that it's not just a K-12 centered the CNI, it goes much broader across the board. Yeah, that's correct. Even at the master's level, very focused, um, you know, again, having the adult learning uh, mm -hmm. concentration as well is, is, is really important. But um, at the post-master's level, that's the beauty of the program is that what we try to do in, at, at all levels is to make the instruction as practical as we can and, and really to provide uh, the students the opportunity right out of the box to be able to apply principles that they have learned within their classes in a practical uh, learning environment. And so uh, the, the curriculum instruction, um, postmasters in particular, uh, provides opportunities within the assignments and the tasks that they have to focus in on given areas that they might be interested in. So we'll have individuals that will look at curriculum instruction from uh, a corporate standpoint, mm -hmm. 
uh, workplace standpoint, school division standpoint, um, as well as higher education. So we do have a lot of variety there, and again, the uh, generally speaking, the assignments are flexible enough to contextualize, to have a contextualized mm -hmm. study uh, for those different areas based upon the student's current experience or uh, where they aspire to be. Excellent. Question with CNI, if I'm a working adult, 50 hours a week, I want to go back to school, I want to get my master's or even a post-master's, how can that be done with the obligations that I have, maybe with family, kids, soccer on the weekend? What do we do? You know, and, and that's a very practical uh, question, and, and we do our best to uh, provide enough flexibility within the program uh, to where uh, very few assignments are due, for example, during the week or 3 o'clock on a Wednesday afternoon. We, we avoid those types of things and try to uh, try to have due dates that are regular, first of all, uh, but also take into consideration the weekend. Uh, because we know that adult learners tend to uh, do their schoolwork, whether it's reading and writing and all those activities, in the evenings, on the weekends, mm -hmm. and so on. But we also try to, in, you know, emphasize that there's a practical matter here and that, you know, perhaps you may have to just lighten up on some responsibilities for the short term. Mm -hmm. As you're taking the classes and, uh, you know, you're taking on something extra, you know, we, we don't want the degree to be life plus a degree. You know, that degree program has to be incorporated into life. Yes. It has to have a space there. And so um, while we do our best to be understanding of that, we, we do hope that uh, we emphasize early on in the program, particularly the post-master's program, because of the advanced study, mm -hmm. because of the amount of reading and, and work that has to happen, uh, we really do our best to emphasize the fact that you need to find that balance. Align your calendars. Mm -hmm. Align the family, work, you know, school calendars together. Uh, and uh, you, you may have to sacrifice for the short term, but at the end of the day, you're going to end up with a, with a high-quality degree. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Dr. Finn, thank you so much for joining us My and sharing pleasure. your expertise.